to what it's here. We're at the end of Locust Day 10. We are in Winchester. Or technically, we're in a park and ride just outside of Winchester. But we're going to Winchester to see the Christmas markets. I'm so excited for this. It is a little on the chilly side. I'm not gonna lie. And I left my gloves at home. Yeah. We are in Winchester. Say hello, Pops. You're on candy camera. Hello, Pops. I'm on candy camera. No, don't be weird. You're always being weird. We are heading to the Christmas market. We have the cathedral in front of us. It's lovely. Just a tad on the cold side. And one thing I didn't know they had here was Primark, which is bad because we like Primark and we can never go in there without spending any money. Lovely. So we found the Christmas market. I love this one because it's all done in the yeah, in the grounds of the cathedral, and I have my GoPro set up just here. So it's fun times. This is beautiful. I love this.
that's the Christmas market done. Very quick, swift walk round because it was quite on the steep side. But you can see the lovely cathedral in the back. It looks lovely. That's what I love about Winchester. Everything is so how do you put it? Not old, but quaint. So it looks old fashioned. All the places look really old fashioned, and I love that. I really love that. So nice. It's too cold. I found Brooks Shopping Centre. It says there's a Primark in here. So we're gonna go find it. But the only way in is steps. And they're not great for my old man. So we've just come out of my mark. Dad finally managed to find the shorts he's been looking for. And I managed to get some earrings and some tights. We're just in the shopping centre. I think we've got to go up and out over this way. Oh no. Right, this will be the last set of stairs. Let's go back out into the cold. To the freezing cold. Bits and pieces. Oh, there is a pound store here. What were we looking for in the pound store again? I can't remember. Neither can I. Anyway, there's a pound store here, so we're going to go and have a look. Oh, what are you looking for a new floor fan? <coughs> Can't you see? No, I don't think so. No, we love a, we love a good pound store. So we'll probably end up getting something from there. You never know. thermostats down before we left so we came home and the house is freezing we switched them off because of because of the cats because we had the window open for them and it's freezing so i just made myself a nice cup of coffee and it is so nice to get my hands on something warm i had to put this on over my other two layers and i've still got my blooming camera attached to me but i come home to um actually i'll show you what i've got in primark first these it says weather sensor finish opaque tights £3.50 I got these in Primark uh, three pairs it says it keeps you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm I need these I so need these for camera right, and I also got these cute little gingerbread man earrings I have really got into Christmas earrings this year and I have like five pairs I think Christmas earrings 
I also came home to a weird package. I mean, I'm expecting an Amazon parcel anyway, but I also come home to a weird package on the front doorstep. No name, no nothing. But I've got an idea I know who it's from. She messaged me absolutely ages ago about something. Ah. Oh. Yes. Nice little cardigan. She told me she had this and she's had this for ages. Absolutely ages. She says, oh, I've got this cardigan for you at home. <laughs> and it's taken her nearly a year to get it to me. But thank you very much, Kaz. That will actually come in quite handy for Canada. And it's got a little bit of string and bauble stuff left. I think this is the Christmas card, which means that uh, I haven't written my Christmas card yet, I've got to do that, so I'm going to have to run one up there. Oh, isn't that cute? Little donkey. Oh, she's done that for my boyfriend and I. Oh, she's lovely. And then this one was on my doorstep. Now I think I know what this one is and they told me nothing about it being delivered today. I was expecting it tomorrow. It is my wind muffler. I've got like three sheets of adhesive stuff and then here's this little sticky stuff. I have no f fidging idea on how to attach these though. One, peel from sheet. Two, stick pad around microphone. Peel off top liner. Apply fur colour. Now you can't see it, but now my, ha my camera has hair. So I'm hoping it's going to stop a lot of the wind noise outside. And I've got loads of spares so they're going in my bag along with a set of adhesives for Canada. So yeah, now we have coffee time. Mm. It tastes so good. I haven't had any of the Costa coffee festive drinks yet and I really want to. I was going to get one today and I didn't. Dan and I are on pizza for dinner and I just ordered us um, normally we have garlic bread with it, but for a change I've just ordered us some um, sides from Domino's. So I got nachos, chicken strippers, and some of the cookie dough thing, uh, warm cookie doughs for afterwards. Because they're just, oh they're so nice. So it's due to come in like 20 to 30 minutes. I can't get used to my camera having hair. It's so weird. Really weird to look at. Like, so I got in so engrossed in editing yesterday's video, I kind of forgot put the pizza in and then I heard a knock on the door and all the stuff has arrived. Have a look. They're all warm. So warm. So what have we got in here? This looks like the cookies. Yeah, pizza. But I've got to try and keep this stuff in the heat because the pizza takes quite a bit of time. So those are cookies. Oh, this has a taste tangy salsa dip. Yeah, it's brilliant when you can't open these. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's actually quite small. Okay, that's nachos. And this must be... Chicken dippers. They all cut, I like that they come with dips. This little beauty in here has only just gone in. She ain't gonna be ready yet.
hanging socks up again. I am just about to start making some hot chocolate for Dad and I. And uh, video is saving. And I forgot I got a gig tomorrow. I got rehearsals and then I got a gig. Those chicken dippers that we had for, with as, as a side alongside the pizza were nice. I'm, I'm a huge chicken fan anyway. I eat more, far more chicken than I do red meat. But the barbecue sauce dip they had with them was really, really good. I mean, I'm not usually one for dipping things into sauces. I'm not usually that kind of person. I don't like to do that. But I tried it with the chicken dippers with a barbecue sauce. And oh my God, I think I found a new favorite thing. My boyfriend is always telling me to, you know, to try new things. And he says food is one of the most wonderful things in the world. And I have to say that that was really, really nice. It was really, really, really nice. The nachos were okay, not my favorite thing. They were all right, but I wouldn't get them again. I have to have marshmallows in with my hot chocolate. I thought I was working tomorrow. For some reason, I thought I was working tomorrow, but I'm not. I've got it confused with next week. I'm actually working the night before I go away, which actually deems quite stressful. This is a cold coal. Look, I've got marshmallows in it. Like quarter past eight, and I'm still waiting for my video to save. It's taken a really long time tonight. Oh, hello, baby. So I'm waiting for that to save before I can upload it. And obviously, I've got to do thumbnail and everything else because it's yesterday's video, so it's got to get up today. Killing time at the moment. Say hello to. This is little wiggly bun. Now, I'm sure you're very familiar with wiggles. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Stick your bum in my face. That's how much you love me. Uh, excuse me. Are you going to vlog for me, wiggles? You're going to vlog for me? Hmm? What's that? What is it? There's a lot of footage of my cats in these vlogs this year. Especially this one in particular. Hmm? I am getting tired and I need to end this vlog somewhere so I think I'm gonna end it here for the night so don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it click the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notifica notification button so you never miss a vlogmas episode because you don't want it to be doing it be doing that I shall see you all tomorrow for vlogmas day 11 I can't believe we're in double digits now Double digits, double digits of vlogmas, single fingers, single fingers, single figures till I go away. It's madness, absolutely madness. I can't wait, I'm so looking forward to it. And yeah, I shall see you all tomorrow for vlogmas day 11. Night guys.